Hello and welcome back, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me, let's play some more of our campaign. This is the, the Mandate of Heaven multiplayer with Filthy Robot. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, Filthy? Oh, uh, you know. It's bankruptcy? It's been an excellent campaign. Not yet. Um, I've got I've got to take some more loans out before I can go bankrupt. Oh. Well, that'll be fun for you. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to unpause if you could. Yeah, go ahead. Alright, I'm currently trying to, to maybe find some other ally potential people. That's weird. What's that? Oh, oh, okay. The the diplomatic macro builder says offer alliance red X zero countries will accept, but when I click on it, two show is green. And then when you hover over it, it actually shows that I can't create an alliance with Mong Yang until third of May, fourteen eighty. I think I used didn't I use Mong Yang to like attack? I I did. I used Mong Yang to attack Bengal. I think. In base tax? At the cost of manpower? That sounds glorious. You okay over there? I'm concerned for you. Yeah. Don't be concerned. I'm fine. It's just, uh, slow. I wonder, did they actually fix this? I'm gonna test it. The divert trade thing. When they added in the ability to, to divert trade with vassals, I'm pretty sure vassals just immediately turn it off right away. Oh yeah, he definitely still has all of his trade power. But even though he's got 30 liberty desire because I told him to divert trade, he's just like, nah. No. Now nah, I'm gonna cancel that. Seems like a bad deal for me. So... That's cool. You don't suppose they would ever even, you know, like, test that. <laughs> Seems crazy. Uh, anyway. Well, he's paying me a little bit of money. I guess we could try to improve relations. Outrageous demands. What is that modifier? I don't remember that. Yeah. Fucking allies pissing away our war score too. This is ridiculous. Uh, you ready to unpause? Mm-hmm. I wonder if is there anything you can do at all to maybe maybe try to incentivize your allies? Well, yeah, he he has so? his capital occupied right now, and he was trying to unsiege it, and now he's managed to lose his army to uh, to uh, the enemy AI's army. But I can't deal with that because I have peasants r rampaging around my country, keeping me in a state of having to use my army. Uh, be careful that you don't end up. Like letting them occupy 50% because if the AI controls the peace deal and they PCO you out at a bad moment and the next monthly tick you actually accidentally have half of your country occupied. Oh, you, you mean by peasants? Broken. Yeah. If 50% yeah. of your land is occupied, just yeah, keep keep on it. Right. You may want to consider building these things. They're called forts. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, Where the fuck would I get the money to build a fort? I don't know. Just saying, I've heard it's a good idea. They're yeah. apparently good for devastation or something. No. By the way, Ming is a, he's making 89 ducats a month right now. Seems fair. Fair and balanced. My, I missed my royal marriage offer with Ring. Ming. I was trying to get it up. He's now set me to hostel. Oh, good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm still getting more exhaustion. Excellent. I'm really excited by this. He's unseeging territories. I gotta go fucking deal with this. I gotta deal with this now. Ah, uh, stupid AI, man. The province that Korshin needs, the one he has that he absolutely wants, is now gonna get unseeged by the enemy AI. He should still be allowed to demand it since he's the war leader. He doesn't have to have it occupied to be able to demand it in a peace deal. Yeah. I'm fighting peasants in mountainous terrain as Horde, which is terrible. Yeah, the Horde thing, I feel like Horde, Horde was better and, and more fun a long time ago when you could actually... Like, the terrain advantages from forts didn't exist, because... It seems very hard to get favorable fights when my entire land is mountains, and I'm Horde. Exactly, yeah. Like, it's like, almost impossible. I, I, I always found it very hard to decide, like, do I build my forts in flat terrain so that I can use my Step Horde combat ability advantage? Or do I build my forts in normal terrain because someday I'm going to switch government types and no longer have that, and then all my forts will be in flatland when they should be in mountains. 
You know, and it's like, I, I, it's complicated. Yep. All right. Sorry, I'm going to pause again. I'm now finally consolidated enough armies. Oops. Shit. I don't know why I'm pausing for that. Sorry, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while since multiplayer. Yeah, multiplayer's tricky. I'll agree. Yeah, we went from 87% war score now down to 59% because my ally has all of his fucking lands occupied. Like an asshole. Such an asshole. I actually achieved my, miss my mission. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Oh yeah, I should definitely dismiss my mission. Our manpower reserve needs to recover. Good freaking luck. What happened now? You just you're just no. still sitting there waiting, right? I'm just, you're just chuckling still... away at my, how great this fight's going. Not, no, not the fight, but the campaign. Just hoping that he'll actually do the peace deal. No, he's he's lost the land now. Now it's worse because he has he has three like three quarters of his country occupied because he's an idiot and won't go unseize the provinces, and uh, the enemy army is roaming around unseizing his own provinces. So it's a problem now. I gotta go reoccupy provinces. I gotta chase this army down and kill it. I was really hoping not to have to do that. Damn. Just wasted 20 prestige, hoping that being below zero... I think you have to be below negative 50 to get the Recover Abysmal prestige mission, which is way easier than the Recover Normal prestige mission. Oh well. Did you just uh, catch that uh, war deck? I did. Something about Yaren and Haichi, yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, made attack by Haichi now. Um, That's actually good. Is it? Because yep. he's going to fight your rebels for you? No, I killed my rebels. I had to kill them in the end. It's good because when I when I piece this guy, I can uh, uh, take uh, bankruptcy again. I see. Which I would suppose, be good. I suppose that could be good. Yeah, sure. makes sense. Because I'm now accumulating quite a lot of. Uh, I got to figure out how to dump my monarch points before that happens, though. And of course, it's all fucking mountains and woods, so I can't actually ever fight him with any sort of advantage. Man, some of these temples are worth so much. 0.2 ducats a month? That's a lot. This stage of the game for me? Somehow, I don't know how this is possible, but my subject actually has no unrest in this province. He must have actually succeeded in converting it that quickly. He did. Really good. I'm impressed with him. And he's loyal. That's always nice too. Ah, shit, man. Hey, I told you to not... to not play that nation. <laughs> I did. Did not. <laughs> I did, I did, I did. did. Not. And you're like, oh, I can totally handle it. I'm good. I'm so good at this game now. I'm the best. That's what you said. That's Quote, what I, you remember? That's the, word the for word. Process that you that's remember? what you said. Uh, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too good for this game. I only ever play on the absolute hardest setting, and I only start with two development, even though it's not possible because every province has at least three. <laughs> that's what the that's what he said. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean I'm paraphrasing, but still. Yeah. Exhaustion is gonna be my downfall. I've called a oh called a piece. Yeah, I've still called a piece for like ten years or something. <sighs> Fucking AI. All right, I'm gonna consider trading up in allies. I hope this is a good idea. Orissa got beat in a war earlier. 
against Bafmanis. But they have no new claims. I'm thinking that they've maybe they've they've cooled off a bit on their desire to expand into there, so Orissa might be a safe ally for now. We'll see. Jumper is probably gonna be pretty dangerous. And he's gonna call in he's gonna call in Bahmanis. It's gonna be an interesting war coming up in the future. What was the what was the name of the bonus for when you're the tributary overlord guy has the tech and you don't? It's like a five percent or ten percent extra discount. I think I wait for that. It's five percent. I don't remember what the bonus is called. I can't imagine Ming not taking it. I mean, he's he's getting tributes from all these nations. He's got to have plenty of honor points. I think I'll just wait. We got one of us is gonna have to spawn the rest of the uh, the Reformation over here. Otherwise, we're never gonna. Sorry, the Renaissance. We're never well, gonna see it, it. It could actually be me because I, if I can ever get out of these wars, I can just develop. Because I'm gonna have to dump monarch points, and that is one of the ways I can do that before going bankrupt. Right? Is development. I th think so. I remember reading that buildings built in the last X number of months get destroyed. I don't think development was in that list though. I don't think so. So hey, either. spend all your monarch points. Let's test it. <laughs> I'm happy to do that in a minute. But I gotta I can't do that till I manage these wars. So it's gonna be a little while still. Well, Kimmer doesn't exist anymore. Did he dishonor my call too? I didn't even look at this. Um, if he did, then he 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 won't be your ally anymore. He probably yeah he didn't didn't accept the call when Hex attacked me. So not only is he not giving you lands, and now he has an even less incentive to do so because he doesn't care about your continued trust. You might want to try taking a separate piece. You'll end up having to pay diplo points since you're not the war leader, I think. But just negotiate with the war leader. If you occupy his capital, just take the just take the land for yourself. You don't care about the, that relationship anymore. If he's going to dishonor the call to defend you, he's the only ally I can get in this area. Uh, I don't know why he dishonored it, but he definitely fucking did because he's not in this war. Okay, so he dishonored the call. So you, you think that the next time you ally him, he's going to honor the next one? Um. No. You're better. Really. You're better. You're better off making like one or two or three marches. If you can't get allies, create vassals with march status or even not march status, just so that they'll have a general, their own manpower pool, their own force limit. Like you're not going to find allies. I would not rely on that guy if he if he's dishonored it once. You know what's that saying? I didn't even realize Probably... I could separate piece the war leader for some reason. It didn't even enter my mind. I should have done that about a million years ago. Well, back then, I didn't suggest it because I thought you wanted to keep the alliance. And if you do that, you lose trust with the war leader because they'll be pissed at you for, you know, leaving the war. Yeah. But he backstabbed you, so screw him. Screw him indeed. I Thaya broke their alliance with Thyviet. Okay, that's... Uh, can I take... Let me get a diplomat back, then I'm gonna... Fucking course. Wait. What happened now? <sighs> just, just, it's going well. It's going well. Just need a second to look at this. So I can declare a war. So decrease our karma. Damn it! <laughs> Even declaring a humiliate war is a is a negative karma event. <laughs> Great. Okay, I'm I'm good. Done. Pause again. Then. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, say that. Basically, I lost some troops to uh, not seeing an AI army, and then uh, instead of I lost a two stack instead of getting to reinforce it. So now I take a hostile fight, a fight on hostile terrain, and I might lose the fight because of that. Yeah, I'm gonna. Ooh, 
Ooh, I can actually gain karma. Cool. Karma is an interesting mechanic. I'm, I'm glad that I'm actually getting to experience it, but at the same time, it's like, it's a weird one. All right. Can I have uh, one day? That, I don't. Uh, can you have one day? No. Uh, just sorry, okay. because if, if, nope, if he fine. gets a siege nope. in the capital, I can't make peace with him anymore. It's fine. Or at least there's a chance. You so. can just say no. 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 No big deal. I understand. No. I just... No, no problem. <laughs> I just my diplomat's one day away. That's how I was gonna look around at stuff. But if you need it, then it's totally understandable. So, all right, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna get out of this fucking war. All right, uh, you can. I can unpause now if you're ready. Hey, yeah, good. Mongolia has cited independence from the Oirat. Interesting. As has Dundar from... someplace. Dundar. Where's Dundar? Oh, he's just independent. They actually just broke free via rebels, it looks like. Interesting. Fucking war goal here. Uh, the king get. Oh, I see. <sighs> All right, what are we gonna do, Arumba? Oh, I can raise stuff now. Uh, okay, let's check this mechanic out. Before so, you core, don't core it. Yep. Yeah. Raise province. Uh. How does it? Their relationship with us will worsen. They're my country. How does my own relationship with me worsen by twenty-five? It's talking about the anyone who owns a core in that province will be ah. upset with you, More and I racist. guess you count as one of those people. Hmm. And I'm doing this just wholly for core uh, for horde unity, right? No, it'll tell you in the tooltip how much no, monarch I, I points you're going to gain as well. Points, but, I mean, but I mean, the only reason why I would actually want to do this with land I care about is for horde unity. Yeah, and to reduce the coring cost of the land because you now have to pay less because there's sure. less to core. It doesn't reduce. It doesn't increase the horde unity by very much here. Three. And don't. What's your horde unity? Zero. <laughs> and I lose two point four six per year. So why why is it so bad? I think something as simple as like declaring wars. I think you get horde unity. Just this is just freaking wiki. It. I think if you humiliate people, there's ways to get horde unity. It's yeah. been a long time since I've used the mechanic, so I don't—I just don't remember it all off the top of my head. I mean, this is nearly um, useless. I mean, if I if I raised all three of these right now, I okay. would gain twelve horde uh, or right. thirteen horde unity. Looting. Okay, you can. Okay, even simpler. Looting. The act of looting. Parking your troops in provinces that have a loot bar. Looting sure. gives you plus one horde unity per four ducats looted. Okay. Raising gives plus one horde unity per province development that you. Uh, the province development before raising. Yeah, but my horde unity is minus 2.46 per year. That's so much. Yep. Okay. Horde unity is gained and lost as follows. Base minus two. Uh, the higher your total development, it goes down by a little bit. And then if your tribes are disloyal, it's bad. Um, tribes are not disloyal. Tribes are loyal. If their influence is low. Also not low. If you can get your influence really low, then you can actually reduce their... Uh, the Horde Unity Malice. If the influence is below negative 20, it's 2.5 base. Do you gain any base at all? Uh, no. Uh, let's take a look, sorry. Uh, power projection, plus 0.18. That's my base gain. That's it. Yeah, it looks like you, you just have to declare war and loot and raise. You is have to do it. Here's the thing. Okay, do this, do this. Right now, is that a positive? I have a negative modifier in Horde Unity that says total development minus 0. 0.63. Is that because I don't have enough land total or because I have too much development? It's just 0. 0.01 per two development you own. Okay. So the more the bigger you get, the harder it will be to maintain Horde Unity, which is apparently very difficult for you since you're at zero. Yeah, it's, it's been totally already. impossible to do anything with this. Um, I think it's because you haven't been focusing on looting. Do you ever use the loot map mode? Yeah. 
Yep. You actually park your armies around, and you focus on getting loot. I, I, I think looted you, you out gotta... everything in the, the country that I just t conquered, so, yeah. <laughs> I did do the looting. Alright, I guess we can uh, unpause. Um, I'm gonna raise this shit anyways, I think, because I need the money. So, but it, yeah, I don't I think, think it's I... a good idea at all. Yeah, okay. I mean, perhaps, is there someone you can declare war on strictly to humiliate and raise? And then one thing you can do... Is that uh, after you've raised a province, I think you can sell it back to people, or there's a button to return province. Like, you don't even have to keep it. If you don't want to pay the points, don't want to core it at all. Just take it, raise it, get the Horde Unity, give it back. Declare a war a few years later and do the same thing again. Mm. It's kind of what Hordes did back then or something. I don't know. Alright. Uh, you good to go? Uh, yeah, I'm good for, yeah, uh, cut, though. Yeah. Oh, are we at that time? Okay. We are, already, all right. amazingly. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. <laughs> See you in a bit.